The First Alliance Church in the Philippines The Alliance mission work in the Philippines began in 1901 with Miss Ellen White, the first C and MA missionary sent to the Philippines. Even though it was a short-lived, the ministry hardly took off at the beginning because the C and MA under the Kamiti Agreement was assigned to Western Mindanao and Sulu Archipelago, considered to be the most difficult areas to evangelize, being predominantly Muslim and animistic territories. However, the agreement worked very well. Each denomination worked in its own section of the country. It was in this time Charles Gustav Carlson and William Abel of the Peñal Missionary Society felt led to make Zamboanga their mission field and center of operations. Pastor Carlson himself built the first evangelical chapel in Tetuan, Zamboanga City in 1902. He was the first pastor of the first evangelical chapel throughout southern Philippines. The chapel, though unfinished, yet they held their first worship service on December 25, 1902. Christmas songs about Jesus' birth were sung by both Americans and Filipinos present during worship. Mr. William Abel accompanied songs with his violin. Two years later, David and Hilda Land joined them. The Peñal Missionary Society and the Alliance Mission were merged. Thus, in 1908, the Alliance Mission owned a chapel in Tetuan, a lot, missionary house, a small sailboat, a horse and a calesa, Philippine currency of 5,009 mission outreaches. Eight missionaries came between 1911 and 1924. By 1924, there were more than 100 new converts attending the Alliance Church in Tetuan. Robert A. Jaffrey, in 1925, had helped inspire the motivations of the missionaries. The mission work had greatly expanded. It resulted to the establishment of Ebenezer Bible Institute that trained Filipino young leaders. In 1929, a motorboat accident occurred. It caused the death of two lady missionaries. The Tetuan Mission Chapel became a funeral parlor. From the overnight village with a prayer meeting, five young people promised to serve God and to take the place of the missionaries who died. From 1930 to 1945 were silent long years in regards to Taek as a beginning local church ministry. Records are lacking to attest this. Heaven knows exactly the many instruments God used in order that his ministry would continue under the banner of the Christian and Missionary Alliance churches of the Philippines. The report emphasized on the articles written afterwards were focused more on Ebenezer School as training ground for the preparation of Filipino leaders to fill up the ranks of Christian service. Like Paul of old, God used men and women to bring about good results. His hands were there all the time to bless and to anoint them. Let us see Taek's past and present directory of Christian workforce.
God of the early missionaries, pastors, lady workers who pioneered missions work in the Philippines is the very same God of that one Alliance Evangelical Church today. Their committed lives, devotions, sacrifices, seal, and enduring spirit are today the living monuments of our Kamako people. They exemplified gilded lives for the master's cause that brought about wonderful results beyond our wildest dreams. To God be the glory.